Let's go. What's up everybody and welcome back to what is my second vlog. So I've got a lovely week off this week, so I'm gonna be doing a few projects here and there. You're gonna be coming along with me, seeing how I get on. Obviously there will be videos for all of the projects that I do actually make, but you get some lovely behind the scenes footage early because it can take me a long time to edit all those other stuff. So first thing to do today is to do all of the gluing up that I need to in order to make the things that I wanna make this week. So I'm gonna do some cutting, some shaping, and then glue everything together. And then hopefully I've got some good starting points for later on. Okay, so I've got my Paduka uh, gluing up. I'm now gonna run my oak uh, worktop through my thickness of because that's the one that I had problems with last time because it's got a finish on the top, which I didn't realize. So I'm gonna take that finish off, then I'm gonna rip it down on the table saw, um, and then um, I'm gonna glue it together to make my charcuterie board. Okay, with that all done, uh, now it's time to glue up. I'm gonna see how many I can get out of this. If I can get two security boards out of all of that, width-wise, um, that'll be hopefully four, because it's quite a long board. Okay, with those two gluing up, I now can't really do anything else, so I'm gonna go and have a quick break, go and deliver my, uh, go and do some errands, and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do some other stuff, not project related, workshop related. Many unbearable hours later. Right, back from my errand, and now it's time to decide what I'm doing next. So think of what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the shelf down, I'm gonna burn the underside of that to give it a bit of color, put the chamfer on the outside, and then get that remounted, put the sawdust pots on, and then get all my stuff moved on there, like cups and mugs and things, and make it look pretty. Ah, oh, I've blocked myself in. <laughs> Okay, so I've still got no idea how to actually use this. <laughs> but I'm going to attempt to use the torch again. This didn't go well last time. I couldn't get it lit. The guy that I borrowed it from got it lit in about two seconds. So, yeah, let's see. Let's see, shall we? Okay, so he said, 
put it on a little bit. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Lovely little chamfer. Perfect. Okay, so that's looking good. Now it's time to add the wood pots for underneath. I've got another oak one to go in, but uh, I don't have any more holders, so I'll be going to B&Q this week to get some more of those. But I think that it's pretty damn good. Okay, so I haven't got much time left before I go and pick the boy up, so I think I'm going to have a bit of a tidy, make sure my gluing's still going well, and I may try and put my maker's mallet together, which I still need to do. But when I do that, I will need to make a holder for the wall, which is probably going to go about there. One thing I have forgotten, and while tidying up, I want to try now, I bought this right angle ducting a while ago to try and do uh, sort out my dust collection for table saw. Now this fitting doesn't fit it but this is exactly the same size as the port for that one so what I'm going to try and do is while I've got the blow gun here, blow torch here, I'm going to attempt to heat this up. I don't know whether it will work, I don't know if it's that type of plastic. I'm going to mould um, that to hopefully fit around that. Like I said, not sure whether it's going to work, but it's worth a try, isn't it? So I don't know whether this will work, but Got it in there. Still very hot. I really need some water to cool it down. It might work. It's worth a try, I think, at least anyway. Because then I can connect a CTS or hose to this and then the CTS system to the other side, which means I can just plug my hose in to just underneath the workbench there. And this will be done. Right, I'm gonna go and find some water. Okay, let's test to see whether this fits. No, okay, but it's close. So I'm gonna heat this up again, and I'm gonna fit it over the actual port, which would have been the smart idea in the first place. Right, I'm gonna let that cool now, but there you go. You can see what I'm going for in there. So that's now cooled, or will be cooling, around the edge there, which means over there I can connect my extension hose to. But I'm quite happy with that. Nice snug fit. Still movable, which means I should be able to get it off. Okay, so frustratingly, I have this 50mm hose, which I thought was going to be big enough for my table saw but it's not um, I actually need 62 millimeter hose so I've had to order that so this is going to come 
Friday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm hoping that it comes a little bit quicker than that, to be honest. But um, yeah, frustrating. So annoying me, I can't do anything else with the table saw at the moment. I'm just gonna have to leave it like that and move on. Right, let's continue tidying. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy seeing another day in the life of Brookwood Builds Workshop. Uh, massive thank you to Cumberland Custom Creations for the Maker's Mallet. It is an absolute beast and it's lovely. I can't wait to get it finished um, and mounted on the wall somewhere. But, I don't know, annoyingly it looks better than mine. It's a real shame. Anyway, I'm off. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked that video, remember to click like comment and subscribe and then tune in to whatever I post next. There's some videos here for you. No, they're not. They're this side. No, they're not. They're this side. I don't know. Wherever the videos are around me, click on them, watch something else. Check out my last vlog that I did or check out one of my project builds. I'll catch you later.